Good morning, this is White Wolf. This is another installment of Cigars and Spirituality, episode, I believe, six, 16 or 17, I believe. Yeah, 16 or 17. Just being, just being present, just being presence. Because a lot of the times when we're not just being, we linger on looking back instead of looking forward and as we look forward we don't have the patience to wait for the future so why don't you just be why don't you just let allow yourself to being open to just being in the present being in the moment being in the essence being in the movement being in not wanting to predetermine outcomes so when we are just being we are allowing ourselves to not only generate the future but we're actually learning from our past and not being a victim and actually being a victor as we're creating something that is gradual, creating something that is forward moving, creating something that is just going, quite like wheels on a bicycle. It just keeps moving, it keeps progressing, it keeps changing, it keeps elevating, it keeps kind of supercharging itself, kind of like you have like a Tesla and you just charge it up every time that it needs to be charged. That's what allows you to be present within every single moment, within every single emotion, and trying to gauge what the emotion is trying to tell you, what illusions are you believing, what your beliefs are, and what you're giving your power away towards. Episode 17, excuse me. I always get the numbers off. So without further ado, I'm going to share out to all the groups, but this is White Wolf, and what I want you guys to understand is that in this time, we are migrating from the higher self and getting away from the human, but sometimes our human self has a little bit of time to kind of grasp and understand and become, so it's not that we're always on top of our game, but we're always moving a step closer into the right direction. We're always moving a step closer to climbing on top of the mountain because I don't believe that we ever peak, but I believe that we just get better and we try to emulate the light of the Creator, the, the light of the Oracle of Love, Light, and Wisdom. We're always trying to get one step closer into the right direction of enlightenment because there's never a point where you become justified in being enlightened that you become fully enlightened, that you don't have to meditate anymore, that you don't have to do anything for anybody, that you're perfect. And I'm here to tell you that you're here to perfect your imperfections. You're here to transcend the human condition. You're here to just be. You're not here to know the answer, to see what's right or what's wrong with everybody else, but you have to see what's light and dark within yourself. So that's what's happening in this time. We're trying to see what darkness is still lingering in the background that's prohibiting us to becoming the light, to becoming the oracle of love, light, and wisdom, to becoming who all that we are created to be, to become everything that we're supposed to become in this life. And it's very, very hard, and it's not easy, but I don't believe we peak, and I don't believe we roam in valleys, but I do believe that we get to a certain stage where we're becoming more and more and more masterful and more and more closer to the right directions and I don't believe that they're ups and downs I used to call them that and I don't necessarily like calling them peaks and valleys but I want to call it just being in the present of the presence moment because once you're in the present presence moment you are generating your future right before your eyes. You're letting it unfold. You're not trying to control it. You're not trying to manipulate it. You're not trying to direct it. You're not trying to predetermine an outcome. You're not trying to be authentic, but you already are the calling because you are just being. And one of the things I think that we have a difficult time with is that we feel like we have to become the highest that we are. We have to become the light right here, right now. We have to become the leader. We have to become the master. We already are the master. We're just upgrading every single day. We're just resharpening our tools. We're refining our gifts. We're trying to become more and more purified. And the only way that we become purified is to just be. Just being in present 
moments. So what happens is, is that we have to allow ourselves a lot of forgiveness. Because if you don't forgive yourself, you're going to always be upset because you waited on your future. You're going to give your power to a limiting belief and you're going to believe that belief and you're going to believe that thought form and that thought form is going to talk you out of creating anything that you want to create in your life. And it's going to bring you down and it's going to make you have arguments with your partner. It's going to make you feel like you're headstrong. It's going to make you feel like you're better than everybody and really you're not because you're trying to better yourself. So before check yourself before you wreck yourself and I'm talking about my direct experience so don't imprint this in your spirit but take this as insightful advice for you to propel yourself to the next level to the next gateway to the next completion of your soul because your soul never gets complete because you are the infinite reality and if you are the said infinite reality then you have an infinite number of ways to enlightenment so there's not one way but there's a plethora of ways there's no right or wrong there's only light and dark and what I want you guys to understand no matter how many times you try to prove what's right and what's wrong how many times you give in to self-pity condemnation all of these things that we give into instead of just being and letting go of control letting go of feeling like we have to be a grown-up letting go of all of these concepts that the 3d present to us and start letting go more and more and more and let it go and give it right back up to source and as you give it right back up to source he will take care of it all and then like this profound sense of enlightenment sort of dawns on you when you do this when you just are being and I'm not gonna predict this outcome I'm not gonna just give in to this emotion I'm not gonna give in to this trigger I'm not going to give my power away to my thoughts. I'm not going to give my power away to my beliefs. I'm not going to give my power away to the way that I once was. And every time a nanosecond passes by, you have to realize that that is the past. And that's how you stay present. And that's how you somewhat have a future. But you're not lingering within the future and you're not lingering within the past. But you're just being present. Be present in all ways, in all ways. Just be present all the time. Be present with your thoughts. Be present with a sensation, an illusion, an emotion, your calling, and just be present with that. Be present with your meditations even. And realize that you don't necessarily want something from your meditation. You don't want something from anything because you have everything right here. You have the soul. And if you have the soul, then you already have the transcendence. It may not feel like you're complete or whole, but you're always upgrading. You're always leveling up. You're always getting better. You're always changing something about yourself. You're always migrating into the source being within you're always kind of just changing and elevating and generating and creating and manifesting and it's called allowance when you have allowance you are just being when you have the allowance of allowing everything to kind of unfold before your eyes that's the only way that you create and that's the only way that you manifest and that's the only way that you meditate because it's a choice you have a choice here because everything in your life is a choice. You can, you can live in doubt. You can live in self-pity. You can say that you're a failure. You can say that my ideas are not good and that I should pull the trigger on this and I should pull the trigger on that. But once you just ask spirit and you get quiet and you get centered and you just sit there for one second and wait in the silence and see what spirit has for you to do, then go with that. And everything that arises, no matter what is happening in your life, your life could be falling apart right before your eyes and there can be complete chaos and you've lost your partner and you lost your job and your whole life changed within 24 hours and then another sign and a confirmation lets you know that no matter where what direction that you are in that source has you in the palm of your hand because you're just being and you're just being present with where you are at 
and it doesn't matter that you're in this lovely home, and it does not matter if you're in this hotel room, it does not matter if you're on the street, you are just being present, and a door will open up, and a gateway will open up, and something else will happen that will surprise you, and be like, wow, the universe does have me in the palm of its hand. So one of the things that I think we have trouble with, and I'm saying this for myself, is that we think we have to do certain things to get what we want. We feel like we have to work really hard. We feel like we have to toxically seek and seek and seek and seek. And no matter how many times you seek in your life as the meditative seeker, no matter how many times you do that, at the end of the day, you will realize that you already are the calling, you already are the source being, you already are the oracle of love, light, and wisdom in human form, you already are all of these things that you want to be. So let go with trying to be this, and trying to be that, and trying to do this. Just allow yourself to be. Allow yourself to be present within every moment, within every change of your life, within every season of your life, and realize that once you are present with every single moment, then your life will change and you'll realize how easy it is to really manifest, to really create. And we're here to manifest anything that we want, anything that we desire, anything that we want to attract to ourselves. We are here to do the impossible. So why are you not allowing yourself for the impossible? Why are you settling for mediocrity? And I'm talking to you and I'm also talking to myself, so don't imprint this. Don't take this a certain way. And I'm not assuming that you're taking this a certain way. It's just the way that I express myself. So what I want you to understand is that if you let go of outcome, if you let go of control, if you let go of feeling, when you let go of your sense perceptions, your illusions, and regain your power, and you are just being, there's something beautiful that happens. It's just like, wow, I can just be, I can just let it go, I can give it back to source, and then boom, and then boom. Anything, anything I say, self-love, self-empowerment, self-actualization, self-realization, self-motivation, whatever it is, that goes out the window because you already know these things. You don't have to have me to tell you these things. And I don't have to even tell myself these things because when you, this is something miraculous that happens. No matter if you pray, no matter if you meditate, no matter if you're a part of the Buddha, no matter what it is, if you just be and you just stay within that awareness, it will allow you to change your life in a very fast way, an accelerated way when you are just being. Just be with your presence. Just be with your creation. Just be with your meditation. And we're even meditating right now, even though that I'm just talking and I'm smoking a cigar, we're meditating with each other right now because when we are talking, whenever we are doing a lot of the things in our day-to-day -day lives, it is a guided meditation. It is reflection. So, if you are dating someone, they're a mirror to you, and you are a mirror to them. If you have friends, if you have friends that you know that you don't need to have, they are a reflection of you. Everything is a reflection of your consciousness. Every time you walk into a store, every time you pick a specific ice cream, every time that you make a decision, every time that you're going around your day-to-day -day moments, you look at your grass, it is a reflection of who you are. And it's confirming everything that you are. So if you're happy with everything that confirms what you are, just let it flow more and let's see what it could be instead of just staying the same. Now, if everything in your awareness, in your reality, is not fulfilling you, is not making you happy, is not really changing and it's staying the same and it's like Groundhog Day, then you have the decision today to sort of change it, to sort of make this distinction 
and to realize that the law of subtraction, the law of attraction, all of these things can't be learned in a day, but I can learn it right here, right now, and just be. Just be. And just wait a couple seconds, and then it will dawn on you, and it'll be like, wow, it's very cathartic, because I'm letting go of acting like I have fully, full control over my life and everybody else's life. And I'm just going to be. I'm just going to be present with my life. I'm just going to be present within the moment. I'm just going to be here. I'm just going to be now. I'm just going to be in the being presence. Because if you are not here and you are not now, you're always going to be looking back and you're not going to allow your past to teach you something and learn from it and then move on and be present and stop waiting for the future to come and bestow you a gift and try to lift you up because you can lift yourself up right here right now you can lift yourself up in the highest light of the oracle of love light and wisdom right here right now and just forgive yourself let go of everything that does not serve let go of everything that is holding you back this spiritual life will cost you but it's costing you all the things that do not lift you up that do not fulfill you that do not try to live a super accelerated life and the only way to live a super accelerated life is to realize that you are just here you are just being you are just spacious awareness you are just the creator in the present and just take a deep moment and just breathe for a second stop putting expectations on things Stop trying to predict things. Stop thinking that you have the answers. Stop being headstrong. Stop doing this and stop doing that. And for a second, just be. You came here not to know. You came here to try to learn more by not knowing. And in the not knowing, and getting rid of the veil of forgetfulness, and once you get past that, you start having realization you start realizing more things about yourself you start emulating things that you never emulated in your life you start becoming a completely different person and it's because that is the most perfected version of yourself It is the updated revamped version of yourself it is the self that is the effortless perfection of the higher self it is the self it is the I am consciousness it is the I am presence. It is the omnipresence of creation. To feel limitless is to feel formless. To feel amazing is to feel positionless, is to feel limitless. So if you don't feel limitless, right here, right now, you'll never know what it feels like before you get the limitless consciousness. And once you understand this limitless, infinite consciousness, you'll realize that the only way that happens is being present, is being here, is being now, is being the all-encompassing power of God's source energy, which is you. And do I pray at night? Yes, I do pray at night. But at the same time, we have to see ourselves as a God, as a creator, as a person in human form that is a god and has been a god or goddess in other lifetimes we have to understand that we're switching the dial we're sort of handling ourselves in a way that we've never handled ourselves but we're letting go of the controller and we're sort of on autopilot so let go of the steering wheel and sort of let Jesus take the wheel 
So you're letting go of the steering wheel and you're allowing Jesus to sort of take the wheel and you're allowing your life to kind of take you wherever you want your life to take you. And you're seeing that no matter what direction, no matter what choice, no matter what decision, no matter what happens, I will embrace the change. I will embrace what's here. I will embrace what's now. I will embrace the gradual journey the movement and it's just going but once you stop once you don't have that steadiness it allows you to get frustrated it allows you to feel stagnant it allows you to feel these feelings so generate some movement always make it gradual always have a steadiness about you always be sort of present always sort of be present with your with your moment always just be here always just be now never try to predict the future and don't linger in the past but just be within this space of spacious awareness and once you stay there it'll allow you to create all the things that you want to create within your life it'll allow you to have allowance, to be open and receptive to what you need to do as the creator of your life, as the manifester, as the meditator, meditating on top of itself and realizing that you can make this an, a new day. This could be the day that your life changes. This could be the day that you open up to this divine self-love to this divine self-forgiveness and start having more realizations and start having more signs and more confirmations of confirming who you are at this present moment and as it's just sort of here and now that you don't have to try to be you don't have to try to do this you don't have to heal this and you don't have to heal that you already are and just be happy that you have healing. Be happy that he, this situation is changing, that doors are opening. And just be open to whatever arises and just embrace it. Embrace the mess that you are, embrace it. Embrace everything that happens sporadically because that's the only way that we're going to live our lives very emotionless and very pure and pristine and crystallized and sort of just let Jesus take the wheel and it just it just flows if you're not allowing it to flow for yourself if you're not allowing it to try kind of just go at a steady pace at a gradual pace then what you'll do like most people do is act like that I'm a crappy manifester, that I can't do this, I'm lingering in the past, and I'm waiting on the future, I'm waiting on someone to kind of lift my hand up and, and, and help me with this, but you are the guardian of your soul, so today you can lift yourself up with this one principle, and just be here, and just be now, and just emulate, and create within the space that you have, so that you can create differently, and start giving more of an impact on your creation no matter how teeny tiny that it is no matter how tiny it is it doesn't matter if you went to the store it doesn't matter if you bought a cigar it doesn't matter if you have a nice shirt let your creation be impactful to you in your present moment maybe you won something off a lottery ticket it could be twenty dollars but that's the next step that you get to the big billions but allow your creation, no matter how teeny tiny and minute and a mustard seed of creation that it is, allow it to be very expansive and big for yourself. Allow it to be something beautiful. Allow it to be something amazing. Because it is, and it doesn't matter if it's tiny, but if you like, oh, if I didn't win, no, you did win because it's another step closer to you winning more. 
So no matter how many times you think you lose or you think that you win or you think this is right or you think that this is wrong, it's because you're believing something about the right or the wrong or the past and the future that doesn't resonate with you. Now, I'm not here to tell you that to be in self-denial and not hold your feet to the carpet because I can tell you through my own experience, I've had to have my feet drawn to the carpet quite a bit. And it's not fun. It, but it's better than mom and dad imprinting their suffering onto you. It's not fun having your feet drawn to the carpet. But at the same time, don't beat yourself up at the same time. Don't dwell in self-pity. Learn from it and move on because today is a new day. Every day that you wake up is a day for you to start creating to start manifesting, to start changing, to start purifying and purifying your imperfections. Start becoming who you are. And be happy that it is your own individuality. You are your own individual. You get to be who you want. And it doesn't have to be what I'm doing, but it has to be what you do on a day-to-day, moment-to-moment basis. It may not be wearing this shirt or wearing this, this band on my arm. It could be you wearing a robe. It could be anything that you want it to be. But be anything that you want to be today. And once you start to do that and be your own individual, you will see that you've been suppressing something your whole life and it will open new doors and it will change you. It will allow you to be who you are and to not be something that you're not and to emulate everything that you want your soul to be. So this is my live. Uh, this is why Wolf. I have a special run going on, $10 for 10 minutes, $30 for 30 minutes, and $50 for an hour. Um, and I might be going live later today, maybe doing readings and healings, or tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. But this is my live feed. These are Cigars and Spirituality, Episode 17, Just Being. Just be here, just be now, and just be present with every moment, with every change, with every manifestation and creation. And God bless wherever you are, morning, day, or night.